Hey, I'm Ash. Hope you're all doing fantastically well. Welcome yourselves to the dev server. As per usual, as everyone always says, everything is subject to change and not final. So with that being said, welcome yourselves to major update Red Skies. This being the first iteration of the dev server, not everything is currently available just yet, but majority of the content is there. There might be a second dev server later down the line and well, we'll showcase everything that there is to show in at least this update video. Starting off with aviation. The Ho229 has received an armor-piercing composite rigid tracer shell, which have been added to the armored target's belt. P400 gets a 500 pound bomb. The Hornet Mark III has received 105 octane fuel. And the F4 Phantom II has had the AGM-65B Mavericks added to the aircraft. The BF-109 G2 Premium has been moved to rank 4. The Meteor Mark F8 Reaper has been increased in price from 8,090 GE to 8,380 GE. With that, the Harrier also goes up in purchase price as well, thank god, from 8,910 to 9,090 Golden Birds. However, the most important change that has been announced is the fact that obviously rank 7 has been introduced for aviation, and the new max battle rating is 11.0. That is absolutely instrumental for decompression and balance within the game. That being said, a whole host of aircraft have been moved up to rank 7 from rank 6. F4E Phantom 2, the A7D, the MiG-21 MF, SMT and Biz, the SU-17M2, the Mirage 3C and the Mirage 3E, the J-35 and the F-4F early, as well as the Japanese F-4EJ uh, and both British Phantoms. My god, that's a bit of a mouthful. For the low price of $60 reduce, you can get yourself an F-5C. I don't know why you would, but... This is a premium option if you want to grind, and there is access to AIM-9Es. There is a whole host of ground ordnance that is expected of the F-5C, and it does get countermeasures, which is fantastic. Compared to its in-tree variant, which that is, the F-5E, well, this thing can hold a gun pod. Uh, it looks kind of ridiculous if I don't say. It, suffice to say, what is different about this particular vehicle is, well, it gets AIM-9Js, really. That, that's, that's all the... But this can har carry four AGM-65s. It's got this massive gun pod. If you recognize it, is one pod from the A7D. Germany gets an F4F late, and this doesn't have RWR, doesn't have a couple of other features that uh, you would expect of a F4 Phantom, and is a stock standard F4, so that is fantastic. Moving on to USSR. This is the SU-7 BKM, and to my knowledge, it's the first Egyptian aircraft that we have properly in-game. This is a premium, it's 9.3, it is exactly identical to that of the SU-7. Other additions to Russia is, obviously, the Yak-28B. Been asking for this thing for a little while, it's one of those interceptor bomber aircraft that would be quite interesting in War Thunder, and this one is certainly interesting. This is the B version, and they made probably a, well, a dozen versions of the Yak-28. Essentially, what you have is a super cruising uh, well, not really super cruising. It feels like a super cruising when you see the flames shoot out the rear of this bastard. But it's a Yak-28 with 23mm gun. It does have an internal bomb bay with Fab 3000. You can get six uh, 250s and you can get two 500-pound bombs. It gets countermeasures. That's really where it's interesting. And no, sadly, it doesn't get air-to-air -air missiles. But it does get an interceptor spawn and it does keep its bomb uh, aiming reticle. Now, I don't know much about the MiG-23, other than it's goddamn sexy, and what I do know is it's probably one of the worst performing uh, swing-wing aircraft that there is in the world currently. I don't know if Russia operates any of these kind of aircraft, but the airframe itself is particularly notorious for being unreliable at best. And I mean, it looks good. <laughs> but can it fly good? War Thunder will have to tell a different story, and that'll probably be a video for another day. Essentially, what you're getting is a whole bunch of stuff. Flares, chaffs, you get your R3Ss, your R13Ms, your R60s, and obviously you have a new type of missile, the R23RT. So these are supposed to acquire a target and keep track of that target, retrack a target when it has lost focus. But there you go, that is the MiG-23. I'm highly looking forward to uh, picking up and playing this one. 
Unfortunately for Britain, all we get is a Sea Vixen. Now, it would have been nice to see another version or variant of this particular aircraft as a in-tray vehicle, but it is a battle rating 8.3 and a rank 5. Granted, it doesn't have guns and it looks kind of bleak. The cockpit offset and the observer to the, to the right of the pilot there does get red tops and does get AGM-12s. One of two World War II aircraft to come to the patch, both of which are premium, P-51C-11NT. This is basically rank 3 battle rating 4.0. It's a Razorback P-51, and while I might pick this up because I have a soft spot for them, again, it's not necessarily that useful. This is the Swedish uh, 109, or should I say Finnish 109. Battle rating uh, 5.3 of a rank of 4. It's essentially just a G6, but with a very funky camouflage. China gets the J7E, which is a rank 7 battle rating 10.7, as a 30mm cannon, and it obviously can be equipped with PL5s, which are the newest version of Chinese missile in the game. It's a good thing to see something unique for China at least. Italy gets a fantastic, cute little jet fighter, rank 5 battle rating 8.3. It's got two 30mm Hispanos of 240 rounds. Max speed of 1093. France unfortunately gets another Mystere. This is the 4A version and rank 6 battle rating 8.7. 30mm Davis times 2 with 300 rounds and it can get equipped with a whole host of ordnance, including two Nord air to air missiles, as you can see here. There is a new location, this being that of some sort of bloody desert. Mate, if you ask me, it just looks like a red desert. That's exactly the mission name. Looks good from the air, but otherwise is a new ground location to explore, which is fantastic, I suppose. And from the ground, it looks even more spectacular, provided you don't have a content partner manager who scares you in one of the rarest vehicles in the game, that being one of the uh, <laughs> Operation uh, Tanker vehicles, the... Uh, Sheridan M55, the, basically the soccer tank. Anyway, this is a desert. There's undulations, there's uneven ground, there's sparse cover, and it should be pretty interesting to see how this one plays. It is a little too open, but again, you can't really blame that. I think the biggest concern is actually going to be close air support, and I mean, I'm quite scared right now. Speaking of the close air support, there you go. Thanks, Mike. The vehicle you just saw me driving was the TAM-2 Improved. Essentially, it's an Argentinian Improved package on the TAM, and it is a Rank 6 battle rating 8.7 German Premium. Germany also gets Armada A1, a Rank 5 battle rating 7.3, armed with a 20mm, and Milan ATGM x 4. It also gets a coaxial cute little robot dispenser, which I pre presume means that the end of the world is coming, and this is really just a subjugate just for uh, world domination via wallies. Moving on, very funky looking South African vehicle, which is a nice addition nonetheless, it's armed with a 77mm gun, and well, <laughs> it can do a top speed of that of 87 kilometers an hour. A new addition for Japan means unfortunately there is another M47 in the game, so there's that, oh no, anyway. China does get two self-propelled anti-air guns. There is the Rank 7 battle rating 10.0 PGZ-04A, uh, which is armed with four SAMs and also has a 25mm gun times four with 1,032 rounds. There is also the PGZ-09, which essentially is a Chinese Gepard with 35mm guns as well, and that's pretty interesting. China also gets an 8.3 rank 6. This is a premium, essentially very similar to the PL-0102, uh, I think it is. But this has a 105mm gun instead, and, well, does a top speed of 83 kilometers an hour and is about as tall as a German school bus. Let's move on. Italy gets a Dardo, rank 6, battery 9.0, so there's a new infantry fighting vehicle for Italy, finally. And the last two vehicles in the patch are exactly identical, and about as tall as, I don't know, the Statue of Liberty, I guess? Uh, although this is French, so rank 7, battery rating 10.7, this is a VT1 SAM, there's 8 ammunition rounds for this thing. Oh, 90M is also available for Sweden, although it's actually Finnish. Uh, <laughs> same battle rating, same stats, and yeah, that's basically it. Pretty interesting stuff. Let's have a look at the missile just real quick. Uh, it's a surface-to-air missile, and as you can see, that's the stats on screen. And that about does it, really. Aside from the fact there are new naval and fleet mold and damaged weaponry changes, I'm sure another content runner will cover those. The flight model changes are yet to be announced. The second iteration of the dev server will probably show us more on that. 
uh, there is location changes in which uh, there are new animations for pump jacks and distant windmills. Um, and really, that's about it. So, uh, let me know what you're excited for, and hopefully this was a good uh, use of your time. Anyway, my name is Ash, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one, hey? Thank you.